uniquely inconsequential, inimitable, incomparable, the one and only Mr. Roy Ha! Our father wanted papering and pa said it was waste to call a paper hanger in, so he made some paper. He bought some rolls of paper, got a ladder and a brush, and with me mother's night he honoured it, he made a rush. Then father made with the father, the fixy part for paste, and dabbing it here, dabbing it there, paste for paper everywhere. Mother was stuck to the ceiling, the kids were stuck to the floor. I never knew a blue family so stuck up before. Oh! I'm coming back! Soon dad fell down the stairs and dropped his paper hanger's can. On little Henrietta sitting there with her young man. The pace stuck them together, we thought would be for life. We had to call the parson in to make the man and wife. Then father papered the parlour, you could see part for pace. I dabbing it here, dabbing it there, paste the paper everywhere. Mother was stuck to the ceiling, the kids were stuck to the floor. I never knew a blue family so stuck up before. I'm going the other way now, Mr. Sachs. I work it all out myself. We're never going to move away from that house anymore Cos father's gone and stuck the chairs and tables to the floor We can't find our piano, though it's broad and rather tall We think that it's behind the paper past a come the wall When father paid the bar, you could see far from page And dabbing it here, dabbing it there, paste the paper everywhere Mother was stuck to the ceiling, the kids were stuck to the floor I never knew a blue family so stuck up before I never knew Thank you and good evening. Good evening. You like the suit? <laughs> yeah. The Barney Cola and Tartan. <laughs> Very small checks. <laughs> <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, to start my recital of the evening, a short monologue is spoken from the mouth, <laughs> entitled "A Sailor's Farewell to His Horse." Thank you. "'Twas a dirty night and a dirty trick "'when our ship turned over in the Atlantic. <laughs> "'It was on the schooner Hesperus. <laughs> "'We lay asleep in our bunks, "'bound for a cruise where they don't have reviews "'with a cargo of elephant's trunks. <laughs> "'The sea was as smooth as a baby's <laughs> top lip. <laughs> "'Not even a policeman in sight, "'and the little sardines had got into their tins and pulled down the lids for the night. <laughs> we hadn't gone far down the channel when a terrible storm arose. The captain stood on the bridge of the ship and I stood on the bridge of his nose. <laughs> <laughs> this ship's going down, said old Boson Brown. I'm sure that we'll never reach Blighty. Women and children first cried the mate, so I put on the old girl's nighty. <laughs> I swam out to Sydney on my floating kidney. <laughs> Then back to Alsac Lorraine. As I climbed on the pier, the wife shouted, I'm here, so I dived in the water again. <laughs> I said to a girl, you must swim for your life. Or hang on to a boy if you can. <laughs> she looked at me, go and said, you're not a boy, get out, you're a dirty old man. They don't write them like that anymore, I tell you. And I know you're going to join me in your approbation, expressing your approbation to the gentleman who provided such a brilliant accompaniment to that, ladies and gentlemen. Our drummer Bob, yes. A novel sight, ladies and gentlemen, a good Jewish boy playing on pigskin. That's how you. <laughs> would you like some more? Yes, we would. All right. Believe it or not, I've had a request tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Well, actually, I've had two requests. <laughs> First was a physical impossibility. Thank you, Bernard. But the second one, someone's asked me to sing an Albert Chevalier song. Not my old Dutch, but one I think that's almost as beautiful. And I'm delighted to do it for you tonight, a song called The Future Mrs. Hawkins. <laughs>
I knows a little donor. I'm about to own her. She's a gonna marry me. At first she said she wouldn't. Then she said she couldn't. Then she whispered, Says I be Mrs. Hawkins, Mrs. Henry Hawkins, or across the seas I'll roam. So help me, Bob, I'm crazy. Liza, you're a daisy. Won't you share my humble home? Won't you? Oh, Liza, sweet Liza, if you die an old maid, You'll have only yourself to blame. Do you hear? Eliza, dear Eliza, add your fancy organs for your other name. I shan't forget our greeting. Get out was her greeting. Just you mind what you're about. Her pretty head she froze up, then she turns her nose up, saying, let me go, I'll shout. I like your style, says Liza. I thought as I'd surprise her, I cops her round the waist, like this. Says she, I must be dreaming. Chuck it, I'll start screaming. If you do, says I, I'll kiss. Now then. Oh, Eliza, sweet Eliza, if you die an old maid, you'll have only yourself to blame. Do you hear? Eliza, dear Eliza, Mrs. Henry Hawkins, is our first class day.